Saw Poppy versus King Kenny. Who's going to win this fight? Well, first of all, who's going to win this fight? Let's take a look at their latest performances in which Saw Poppy fought Amadeus Ferrari, in which Amadeus Ferrari slipped in round one, but it was counted as a knockdown. Saw Poppy didn't drop Amadeus Ferrari, but it wasn't counted as a knockdown. I mean, this ref must have smoked the blunt before getting into this fight, but then Saw Poppy put a lot of punishment on Amadeus Ferrari, and Amadeus Ferrari quit on the stool at the end of round three. And after this, Saw Poppy went out to fight the Wood Savage, in which Saw Poppy dropped the Wood Savage three times, and the rest of enough is stopped the fight in round one. Now let's take a look at King Kenny's latest performances in which he fought Anthony Taylor in which it was a very boring fight. There was no action at all, just hugging, but Anthony Taylor still outlanded King Kenny and he ended up taking it by decision. Anthony the boy! After this, King Kenny went on to fight Adam Brooks in which King Kenny dropped Adam Brooks in round one. <laughs> King Kenny then dropped and put a lot of punishment on Adam Brooks and the rest of enough to stop the fight in round two. And there it is. It's time now. Oh, Kenny, Kenny's into it. Now this fight is going to be one of the best and most hype influencer boxing matches out there because it involves two big names who have been boxing for some time. So although both men aren't undefeated, they are still one of the most skilled and hype fighters in influencer boxing. And as it stands, both men stand pretty even since both have been pretty active. Both finished their last opponent and both lost to Anthony Taylor. But style-wise and fighting-wise, it is obvious who's the more technical and skilled boxer with higher boxing IQ and that is Saul Poppy. Because if you look at Saul Poppy, not only does he look more technical, but he holds more power and moves a lot better than King Kenny. So the way I see this fight playing now is that Saul Poppy will have a lot of success says was staying at range and boxing with King Kenny even though he's the shorter opponent with the shorter reach and I also see Saw Poppy having a lot of success with closing the distance and letting his hands go on the inside since we have seen him do this multiple times and he has had a lot of success doing it on top of the fact that King Kenny is horrible with pressure so I think Saw Poppy has a pretty easy fight on his hands so in the end the only way that King Kenny is able to win this fight is if he's able to keep his range and outbox Saw Poppy and if he can move throughout the whole entire fight because he can't stay still in one place because that would allow Saw Poppy to counter him at any point or that would allow Saw Poppy to come in and put a lot of punishment on him which i don't think king kenny is able to win this fight so i got saw poppy beating king kenny